podcast. You can get that show there, um, and you so can subscribe early. to Luminary. But Joe, we, I have one more question for you. Okay, we went down this road. I want to know what or whom or how you would characterize your opponent in life. Me, for sure. I mean, there's also uh, stuff on the outside, but ultimately you're dealing with the way you attack it. So wh why do you attack it a certain way? Is it the right way? Or are you tricking yourself into thinking it's the right way because it's more comfortable that way? Um, is it all your fault, but you want to blame other people? Like the, the deciphering me is the hardest. And then discipline, you know, because... You have adversity in life, but it's not like I have adversity all day, every day. I'm dealing with me all day, every day. Every <laughs> fucking day, it's me. The alarm clock goes off at 7 a.m., and me is like, fuck that, I want to sleep. So I got to fight me. Hey, pussy, get up. I got to press the stop, get up, wake up, start moving, walk, drink water, go pee, get going. All right, get to the gym. Like, <laughs> oh, maybe I don't have to go to the gym today. That's me. Every day it's me, fighting with that me guy. So me is 100% my, my biggest opponent. Obviously, there's external forces and things that are, you know, uh, points of adversity that you learn from in life, failures, and but a lot of it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, like, a lot of that, other than, you know, the things that I couldn't handle when I was a child, that I, or rather that I didn't uh, have any control over when I was a child, it's all me. It's weakness. Yeah, weakness. I heard what you said. Yeah. And the one through line for all of it was that you're constantly combating yeah. weakness. Yeah. And it makes perfect sense why you look like a monster when I when I hug you, you're like <laughs> you're like a tree trunk. Like you are disciplined enough to have this experience, the Joe Rogan experience, do MMA, UFC broadcasting, have a comedy career have all of these things going on simultaneously. I still have to compartmentalize the stuff that I'm doing, which isn't all that different from what you're doing, but clearly not at this level, so I can appreciate how much discipline it takes to put a life like yours together and execute it so excellently. Well, but thank you. That's very nice of you. The fact that every day and all day you best your weakness yeah. might be the greatest victory of all. In life, like if you can beat the weakness inside you, well, then all this is possible. Yeah, but you really don't even win. You just win it, for the day. That's exactly right. The weakness right. is like, see you tomorrow, bitch. Exactly. See and you tomorrow. <laughs> see, oh, by the way, you're getting older. One you of the weaknesses is thinking excuses. that you won. Yes. Oh, that's enough. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I also do it for mental health. Like the working out stuff is like, mm -hmm. I need my workouts to be so much harder than anything else I ever do in life. Cause it makes everything else easy. So the workouts are so goddamn brutal that everything else is easy. So a lot of like my build is a, a it's a factor of the work. It's not like a goal to like be built like a brick shit house. It's like the work requires so much strain and so much effort and the end result is you just look jacked but it's just m i'm doing it for mental health more than anything it's like i need it to be hard it right. can't be easy i can't i'm not a stroller i don't stroll i'm not out strolling i'm, like, not, I'm just gonna go for a walk yeah <laughs> i'm not strolling even that is an example of you beating the weakness in your mind that, well, this is good enough. I could do this level of conditioning yeah. and stay in shape, but I'm not challenged anymore. There is the guy who does that and just maintains, and then the guy who you are that continu continuously adds one more plate because that makes it just hard enough to know that boy couldn't get any harder and I still did it. That strength, bro. There's a little bit of that to it too, but it's 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 not even that I don't I don't feel like a sense of satisfaction when it's over. I mm. just I just feel like okay, we shored up the gates for the day. Yeah. That's it. It's not it's not like even a great fucking workout. I feel physically good. I feel relaxed and I feel comfortable, but I never feel accomplished. I never feel like yeah, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> no, every day it's like you got to conquer that inner bitch yeah. every day.
That's the one. Yeah. The inner bitch. The inner bitch is a monster. You got to fight that inner bitch that's, till this day. That's the real opponent. When I say me, yeah. it's my inner bitch. We all have an inner bitch. There it is. Yeah. And that's what we do until this day. I have t-shirts that say it. Conquer your inner bitch. So I've, <laughs> I've been saying that forever. Yeah, you go to higherprimate.com. Um, yeah. I, have, uh, I have a lot of faith in that with... If you could do something that you find that's very difficult and you, it, it tests you and it, 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 it makes you rise, it, ma it makes you push, it makes the rest of life easier. I really believe that. And I think that's a philosophy that a lot of people should embrace. It's not my way. You could do it other ways. You could do it through running. You could do it through yoga. You could do it through meditation. You could do it. Through, but you should do something that's hard. I don't think people should be living a life where everything's easy. That's a nonsense life. I don't think that's right. good for you. Right. And comfort and being able to just continuously do what you're good yeah. at and not stretch, not go into that other space where it might not work, like the skill set that you have yeah. and have home. That's what I had to do when COVID hit and boxing stopped. Yeah. That was the premise for that show till this day. Beautiful. And that's what we did here today. Yeah. The conversation you and I had is much like the structure of that show. And finding Perfect. that inner bitch as your opponent is what I had the opportunity to do with my other friends as we had a discussion not unlike ours, and it required me to go outside of my comfort zone, not talk to boxers, but talk to people who I thought I knew and see if the conversation there about the passion that I have for understanding the fight in them could be made something that was interesting to everybody, including the guests. I think that we did 